Oh, a little oh. bit of trickery from Neymar. Oh, 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 oh. Wonderful. Hey guys, how's it going? It is S2G and welcome to episode number 12 of the Barcelona career mode series. In today's episode, we'll be playing in the round of 16 of the Champions League. If you guys are excited, drop a like on this video. 50 likes would be awesome. The team we'll be facing in the round of 16 of the Champions League is none other than Manchester City. In the last episode, I did ask you guys to predict which team we'll be facing and a lot of you guys did manage to predict that it was Man City, so good on you. But obviously, it's going to be a really difficult game against them. Obviously, they have signed some really good plays. I just had a look at their squad and they have brought in Thomas Muller and even Lacazette so it is going to be a difficult game against Man City. So apart from that these are the other games happening in the Champions League so we have PSG and Bayern Munich that is going to be a really difficult game for both sides and let's see who progresses in that game. Obviously we have other teams like Atletico Madrid, Man United all taking part but as you can see guys in the top scorers of the Champions League we have Giroud with 7 goals, Rooney with 6 and obviously Leo Messi with 5 goals. Also in the last episode I asked you guys who should be first choice backup to Leo Messi and you guys voted for Alex Vidal. It really does make sense making him our you know, first choice backup option to Messi because of his pace and obviously he is playing really well for me. Apart from that guys I will be simming quite a few La Liga games in today's episode. Probably only going to play that Sevilla game. I want to get these Man City games done in today's episode itself. But now guys it's time to focus on the first leg of the Champions League round of 16 against City. This is the team I'm going with pretty strong I'd say. I actually intended on playing Ter Stegen for this one but actually for got to put him in so Bravo is our goalkeeper for this game. We do start off this game pretty well yes Paul Pogba puts the ball into Messi, Messi cuts inside and there you go Leo Messi makes it 1-0 after 11 minutes. A brilliant strike from Messi I mean the keeper had absolutely no chance of saving that straight into the top left corner I mean really that was one of the best finesse shots I've ever scored on FIFA just look at that I mean Messi takes it on his left foot and then just curls it into the back isn't that brilliant stuff from Leo Messi there Joe Hart had no chance, another chance here for us Iniesta with the ball now into Suarez, can Suarez to make it 2-0 but obviously the post I mean how close could Suarez get to scoring there a chance here for Man City the ball is with Lacazette here Lacazette into Fernandinho Fernandinho strikes it well but Bravo was there to make the save 22 minutes gone it is still 1-0 to Barcelona obviously I don't want to give away an away goal if he could get another goal that'd be just amazing here's Neymar a chance for him to score it's still Neymar cut inside Neymar with the shot a block from the defender and then Joe Hart does manage to get to it really good chance there from Neymar to get a goal for himself here's Muller now Muller into Yaya Toure uses his strength to get the ball Yaya Toure smashes the ball but Bravo was there to make the save brilliant goalkeeping there from Claudio Bravo it is still 1-0 to Barcelona here's Leo Messi now Messi finds Neymar brilliant pass there from Leo Messi Neymar cuts the tight Neymar with the shot but Joe Hart again with the save and it is still 1-0 to Barcelona I really want that second goal Neymar with the volley there what a strike from Neymar but Joe Hart keeps him out 82 minutes gone it is still 1-0 to Barcelona maybe a chance here to make it 2-0 if we do score this guys I think it's over for Man City but Neymar's shot is kept out by Joe Hart and after 90 minutes the game ends 1-0 to Barcelona. Still a pretty decent advantage to take away to the Etihad Stadium. Obviously, we didn't concede an away goal. That's pretty good. But I really wanted to score another goal. And I think we did create a lot of chances. But obviously, we have another leg to play. And hopefully, you'll be able to you know, put Man City out in that game. But now, guys, I'm going to be simming this game against Las Palmas. Obviously, we're doing so well in the league. So it really doesn't matter. And there you go. We do manage to win this game. One goal to nil. Obviously, Ivan Rakitic with the goal. That is pretty good to see. And obviously, now I'm going to be playing this game here against Sevilla. They're, I think, sixth in the league. So it does make sense playing against them don't want to drop points so this is the team I'm going with still pretty strong here Messi Neymar Suarez up front yeah we do have the chance here. I'm even playing Rafinha in this game just to give him some game time he actually did play well and he gets a goal for himself look at that from Rafinha a very unorthodox finish but he does manage to get the goal and that's exactly what matters decent finish there from Rafinha a corner from Messi ball is into PK PK's header is saved by the keeper and then I think Busquets had a chance to make it 2-0 but obviously the Sevilla keeper does manage to keep a shot off now a chance here for Sevilla Crondelli with the ball right now it's still Crondelli here Crondelli into Gamiero Gamiero puts the ball into Ibora who does manage to score I'm playing Ter Stegen in this game because obviously I played Bravo in that you know Champions League game so just to compensate for that I am playing Ter Stegen but he didn't really play well in this game a chance here for us now to make it 2-1 get the lead in this game yes Neymar cuts inside goes down in the box we get a penalty and it's going to be none other than Leo Messi's penalty record isn't that great but here Messi takes this and he misses now I have a question for you guys you can decide by voting by clicking that eye on the top right of your screen should we be giving penalties to someone else not just Messi maybe someone else like Neymar or Suarez let me know by voting but the thing is I mean Messi this penalty was pretty crucial we would have won the game but he missed and that's pretty disappointing so you guys can let
let me know also let me know your thoughts about this in the comment section as well we do manage to beat Vallecano by one goal to nil but we then went ahead and drew this game against a bar to all but that doesn't really matter we still have around 15 to 16 point lead over Real Madrid or I think Athletic Bilbao both those teams not doing well in the league but we're really doing just too good I mean I think we can end up with like 99 points by the end of the season if we do win all our games that is just ridiculous and as you can see guys this Montenegro seems like a decent player 71 to 93 potential but now guys it's time to focus on our Champions League game against Man City so these are the other games that have been played up till now obviously Bayern winning destroyed PSG 3 goals nil why am I not surprised there? Atletico Madrid, Juventus all managed to win. So some decent results there. I mean, Man United managed to beat Porto 5-0. How often do you see Man United score goals nowadays? But anyways, it's time to face Man City and this is the team I'm going in. Pretty much the same team I used in that first leg instead of playing Ter Stegen. But as you can see right here, chance here for Man City early on in this game. They're really trying to score here. Lacazette here, it's still Lacazette, goes past Alba. Lacazette takes a shot, Ter Stegen with the saviour. Now the ball is with Busquets here, it's still Busquets. Maybe we can start a counter from here. It is Iniesta with the ball into Luis Suarez here. Suarez into Leo Messi. We could maybe make the perfect counter here. Messi puts the ball into Suarez. Suarez heads into down to Paul Pogba, this is brilliant stuff, Pogba strikes it well, he scores the perfect counter attack for Barcelona to make it one goal to nil, beautiful football there, I mean the pace at which we went forward, it was ridiculous, one of the best goals I've scored I think on FIFA in terms of counter attacking football, brilliant stuff there, and then Man City went on self destruct mode, a mistake there from Otamendi, cost them another goal, not Luis Suarez this time gets it, and it is now 2-0 after 35 minutes, therefore this game is done, and that's the 3 nil already on aggregate, in the 75th minute here Man City trying to get a goal you know a consolation goal but De Bruyne's shot goes just wide 75 minutes gone it is still 2-0 to Barcelona maybe a chance here for us to make it 3-0 here's Neymar it's still Neymar Neymar decides to cut inside Neymar goes past one still Neymar here I know that's a brilliant goal from Neymar just look at that he got went past like two players there and scored a brilliant finish from Neymar and it is now 4-0 on aggregate and that's how the game ends so Man City have been destroyed I think we can really win the Champions League and do a double this season unfortunately we got knocked out in the Copa del Rey or, or else we could probably do a treble the league seems pretty much done and dusted and obviously the Champions League is what we really want to win and after that you know performance against Man City over both the legs I really think we have a good chance of winning it so this is how the league table looks right now we are I think 17 points above Athletic Bilbao 18 points above you know Atletico Madrid 19 oh no 20 points above Real Madrid it can't get any better for us we could be you know finishing the La Liga by you know maybe like 33 or 34 games that is ridiculous in the next episode we'll be finding out who we'll be facing in the next round of the Champions League which is the quarterfinals if you guys have any predictions to make on who we'll be facing let me know in the comment section below we might have that Real Madrid game in the next episode I'm not entirely sure right now but I'm not I'll let you guys know soon if you guys want to know more about it just follow me on Twitter but hope you guys have really enjoyed this episode if you guys have dropped a like on this video follow me on Twitter to stay updated and I will see you guys soon in another episode of this series